Larissa Shields, uh, two-time unified, two different weight classes in women's boxing, the quote, had an interview with Fight Hype, and she was asked about what did she think of Adrian Broner's performance against Blair Cobb, you know, what did she think was going to happen. She pauses for a second, and, you know, she acknowledged that she loves AB, which most people do. Everybody got love for AB, <laughs> but she said that he wasn't focused on boxing. He was focused more on the murders that he allegedly said that he you know that they, that they are part of and she said when she heard him say that she knew he wasn't focused and i mean that's just that just sums up adrian boner she also said he she seen him not let his hands go he ain't let his hands go in over a decade i mean everybody sees it the writing's on the wall she said she ain't gonna never tell a fighter when they can and can't retire as a fan i'm gonna tell ab again he should retire I mean, what what other mega paydays you gonna get? And you know, this is a, an unfortunate opportunity that was blown. You know, chance after chance. A B. You know, we all went to school, or a lot of us. Let me say, a lot of us went to school with athletes who, if they just had their heads on straight, if 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 some of them would have been potential Hall of Famers. I went to school with a kid. The kid was a year older than me. And defensive lineman, he was quick, he was powerful, and he was having colleges wonder about him, inquiring about him when he was in eighth grade. Now, this is back in 2000, 2001. And by the time he was a junior, senior, it was over. He was already getting locked up, and the streets took over. And I mean, it's the same thing with AB. You know, AB had all the talent in the world, but he's influenced by the people that's around him, and he has a bad group of friends. You know, whoever's around him. Has been a terrible influence on his life because y'all let AB mess all that money up. Everybody could have been eating. Y'all could have been like how LeBron is with Rich Paul and Randy and Maverick. But you know, all y'all chose the streets, man. Somebody should have told him to never go on tour with Lil Wayne. Go back and watch that video from 2013. That was a downfall. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about what Clarissa Shields thought. Tell me what y'all think.